Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete item from queue. And that is I'm going to show you using one of the action that is a part of walk queue VBO. Let me take here action stage here. Double click on that. Select walk queues. And then we, we are going to use this delete item. Now to delete any item we need item id so how can we get item id so first let me take one action stage and then i'm going to first get all the exception data and then only one by one that exception data i'm going to show you how to delete so let me take walk queues and select get exception items now enter the queue name so queue name is available here in this environment data item and in outputs just create one data item so it will create one collection and here you can see we are getting item id so this item id will be using in our delete item action now here we'll get all the collection of exceptions as a like collection of item ids here but we need only one item id here to delete that here it is just taking as a text not collection so for that we need to loop th we need to loop through each item id here so for that let me take here one loop and then double click on this loop select exception item collection link this and now here in the walk queues delete item in the item id in input we can pass like this exception items dot item id and output in output we don't have anything so click ok now reset refresh right click set next stage step one by one now you can see here we have total one of 21 so we have 21 exception items available in this queue you can see here we have 21 items that is referred it means that is exceptions now we'll loop through one by one and we'll delete each exception item so it will just delete only exception items not completed one but if you want to delete all the completed also you need to get all the completed items here and then you can loop through each items and you can delete that now we have just deleted one and now it's going to delete second one so we deleted second rows now i can show you here here we are getting 21 now we have deleted two exception so we'll be getting 19 here now you can see here we have 19 records because two records we have just now deleted let me delete few more now we have deleted six items refresh and now you can see here we have 15 exception items available available now earlier it was 21 items 21 exception items but total is 24 so by this way you can use delete item action that is a part of walk queues view and based on that you can delete item and item can be uh, completed or exceptions so any item which which has been marked as a completed or exception that can be deleted manually if you are able to delete anything it means you can delete using that action right so I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.